Okay, so Strider is on the grooming table because I am going to do his nails for the first time and we'll see how he does. I have a nail file if I have a nail that's not very long. I have the manual way of doing it to show you and the electric way of doing it. This is a Dremel tool type thing called a nail grinder. This one is Petty Paws, but Oster makes one a lot of, uh, I think there's a good one that they sell at Walmart. Um, anything for dogs is great because it has a little thing on top that prevents hair from getting stuck in there. So you just stick the toenail in the little hole and it will grind the nail down. A cheaper one like this one, the Petty Paws, is like a nail file where a more expensive one has a stone in it to help um, trim the toenail so you won't have to replace it as often. So let's see how he does with what we've got here. So let me look for a long nail first. Okay, so you can see where the pink is and then the white, and the white is what you can cut without it hurting him. And so I'm just going to quickly stick it in and give it a clip. And if you clip below the pink, you're really gonna hurt him and he's gonna bleed like crazy. So you wanna be very careful. If you can't see the pink and the, the white, then you want to turn the nail upside down like that. And then you can see on the inside where the nail is, the inside and then the white part that you can trim without hurting them. So let's see, so we've got that nail and that nail. That nail doesn't have as much. Let's do the grinder and see how he does with that. Oh, you're so good, what a good boy. Such a fantastic good boy. The nail grinder gives a nice smooth surface. Yeah, where when you do it manually, it makes it a sharp surface. So even though I cut these other ones manually, I like to just kind of smooth them out with the nail grinder. So I really do prefer the nail grinder because it's the easiest one, but some dogs don't tolerate it well. He's really doing a nice job. So I should be telling him right now, what a good boy, what a good boy, Strider, you're so good. And he says, do I have a choice? But he does have a choice because his brother cried like a baby. He's so good, yes, you're so good. What a good boy, let's stop and give you a treat. Usually I give a treat after each nail, but he's so good, we just kept going for our video. You're so wonderful, what a good boy. You did a whole foot, and now we'll do the rest of the feet. Okay, this nail just needs a little bit, so I'm just gonna use the nail file. So it doesn't make as much noise as the Dremel, but you can see, I think he preferred the Dremel over the hand nail file. Good job. That's wonderful. I know, it's mean to do nails, isn't it? What a good boy. So that one still has a lot of white. I'll probably cut that with the manual. Good job, what a good boy. What a good boy, such a good boy, such a good boy. What a good boy, fantastic. What a good boy, beautiful. Such a good boy, such a good boy. Such a good Rolo, and Rolo has some black toenails, so I wanted to show you what that looks like. If you trim a dog's nails once a week, you just take off a little teeny millimeter of nail, and that makes it really easy. Hold the paw this way, then you can see the outer edge and the inside of the nail. So the outer edge won't hurt if you trim it, and the inner edge is the quick, and that will really hurt and bleed like crazy if you get it. So when nails grow long, the quick gets longer. So if you trim nails regularly, you'll keep the nail the shortest and you'll have less work to do.